right, so it has been quite some time since I uploaded my last video. What you've been looking at is France's Chateau de Chenonceau. It's a major tourist attraction for France, drawing in upwards of 800,000 people a year, and for some time served as a royal residence. At the time of its construction, the house was the only bridge across the river Cher for miles. At the beginning of the video, I was showing it off with a little bit of sonic ether. Hopefully that came out looking alright, it's a little hard for me to judge. I couldn't find any good blueprints of the interior, and all the interior pictures were jumbled. Uh, I couldn't figure out which image went where inside the building, so I pretty much did the interior myself. The only part of the castle that I recreated was the long white hallway with the black and white tile. That one was pretty obvious from the pictures. All in all, I think it came out okay, but I borrowed a lot of elements from my other mansions when it came to the interior. At the very least, the lighting is better than my initial creations thanks to the addition of carpets. To make the map, I used Bing Maps for the overhead view and Google Street View for up close images so I can make things look properly. Links to both are going to be in the description if you feel like checking out my accuracy. I built it on a 1000 by 1000 block flat map and I actually ended up running out of space as the build went on. You can probably see the edge of the map um, later in the video. So I had to stop prematurely. Oh, I should probably explain this one piece here. Uh, I made a secret passageway type area. All you have to do is put three stacks of something on the white pressure plate and it's gonna open up a little compartment behind the couch and then you pull the lever and the secret door should open. In this area there are three floors. Um, the first is a vault with a bunch of valuables. The second is a kind of lounge area and the third is a panic room of sorts. Um, the problem with this area is that if you if I burrowed and made it any bigger I would have hit the water from the river. Um, so this, this entire area is a lot smaller than I wanted it to be, which is unfortunate because I like making my secret areas elaborate and uh, well designed, but that wasn't the case here. Anyway, I think the exterior of the castle is good, it's a nice looking building. I did leave out things like a black metallic tower on the chateau that I thought would ruin the design. I'd say my biggest issue with the build is the surrounding environment. The places directly outside the castle, the uh, three garden looking open areas, and the stony looking area, those were pretty much done to perfection. Um, I took measurements and I made sure things were just right. After that, when you head towards the brick roof area, the whole thing is built on a slant and some of the roads are a little bit off, and as I always say, recreating things on a slant is horrible in Minecraft. Sadly, none of the other buildings have an interior, simply because it was taking forever for me to finish. Which leads me to what I want to ask you guys, uh, I'm not entirely sure where this channel is headed, if anywhere at all. I'm not sure if I should start another project, or move on to another game or something. I guess it really depends on how many views this can get. I expect the Minecraft popularity has gone down a bit, in addition to my own popularity decreasing because my projects are taking so damn long to, to release. If you guys still want to see full builds and this video ends up with a bunch of views, then yeah, I can continue what I'm doing and take suggestions for my next building. But another option is I can do hollow builds, and by that I mean I'll just do the shell of a building without filling in any of the interior or surrounding grounds. If I went that route, I could probably pump out one video a week depending on the building's size. So I'll leave that to you guys. If you want big, magnificent stuff like this, I can keep doing it. Um, if you want the shell, I can do those. Uh, if you want me to fall into the nether and never come back, that's cool. Just leave a comment and tell me what you think. I will encourage you guys to like and share this video to whoever you think would like it. If only because I need a good indicator as to how successful my videos can still be. Just a little encouragement to know I still have viewers. Once this thing has around 50 or so likes, I'll release the download to the public. Also, my next video will probably have a random question for a giveaway for any video game of your choosing. Just a way to say thank you to my subscribers over the years. Just don't expect the price tag to exceed $60. Anyway, overall I'm satisfied with most of my build, but not so much the overall accuracy of it. Uh, the slantiness of it all and even the awkward geometry of the chateau made it a challenge to build. But I do love the way it looks with a good shader mod. Regardless of my feelings, I do hope you guys enjoyed watching this and hopefully you think it looks good. Let me know what I should be doing and I'll see you guys next time.